I am Dallas and hi. Anyways, today we're gonna to be doing some maintenance to the Speed 3 and I feel like a lot of people who are new to these cars won't realize you have to do this. First thing we're gonna be doing is cleaning the throttle body. I'll explain all that. Yeah, whatever. And then after that, we're gonna be doing the big one. And that is cleaning the intake valves. I'm not gonna be doing this whole, oh, you don't need to take off the intake manifold and you need to have all these tools. No, this is way easier and way cheaper. Maybe not as effective though. Let's get into it. First thing is cleaning the throttle body. You have your EGR and your PCB system, and so that gets all this carbon and soot, and it reroutes into your intake. And what that means is our throttle body down here gets covered in all this carbon and soot. And basically, what that means is your throttle body is covered in carbon and soot. Bruh. So basically, why that is bad, you can get worse fuel economy, you can also lose power, but the most notable symptom of this is let's say, you cold start your car, right, you know, and you leave it for, you know, a minute or two, and then you'll see every time. Anyways, then when it starts to settle, it'll go down to like 500 RPM, and the car will really be... So I'm guessing we'll just disconnect the battery. Come on. Because it's an electronic throttle body on these, it's not cable. Be removing the intercooler will be give us more access. This man right here. That your dwarf valve will be able to come off. It's just this guy right here. Like that, your intercooler should be loose. You should just need to pull it off. Check it for oil as well while you're there. Dry as anything, mine is. So, next up, we need to remove this bolt here so we can take this intake hose off. Yeah, see that? Oil from the EGR and PCV. Okay, so then you've got four um, eight millimeter bolts one, two, and then three, four. And the only hard part is this sort of clip. You see the red part? You get a flathead and you pull it out this way, and you get a flathead in between the red and the black, and you lift that black bit. Uh... That wasn't meant to come off. Okay, maybe you don't do that, but anyways, it did come off, so... You know, there's that. Okay, now, that's it lifted up enough. Spray it down, let it sit for a few minutes, get a toothbrush. Toothbrush acquired now, I mean, I wouldn't recommend using your toothbrush. I actually just stole my brother's toothbrush. We'll just clean it and I'll water blast it so he won't even know that um, his toothbrush is covered in carbon soot. Your teeth, scrub it, get toilet paper and, and wipe it dry. It literally is just like rub brushing your teeth and it ends up coming all black and stuff. <laughs> so I'm back on the trampoline. Yeah, so obviously did the throttle body and it's looking this how it's looking like now. Pretty clean. So obviously when you're doing it, I'd like push the throttle body open, you know, push it all the way open, clean the gap and all that. Uh, after that, I did the, where the throttle body goes into the intake manifold down here. I just sprayed a little bit in there, wiped it around. I got quite a bit of oil off, there's actually quite a bit in there. So after that, obviously there's this hose that goes from the throttle body into the intercooler. So I sprayed a little bit in there, Clean that out. After that, I actually decided to do the intercooler a bit. Only the side that goes to the side, not the turbo side, the other side. So I sprayed in there. I think now we'll put it all back together and um, probably let the car run. 
So to put that all back together, it's just the same as taking it off. Let's start her up. Wow, let's see this. You join me on the next day. Let's start her up. I know what it was. Day two, obviously what we're doing is we're cleaning uh, the intake valves. Now, remember yesterday I talked about the EGR and the PCV? Basically all that, that carbon and soot will also end up on your intake valves. Now what that means again, worse fuel economy, less power, is quite unhealthy for your engine, is this. Intake valve cleaner. Now, a lot of people in New Zealand do this. It is not a substitute. This will not do a good as job as taking your intake manifold off and you know having it professionally worn up lasted. Not at all. But it will help it. We want to get it sprayed into the intake manifold, right? As close as we can. So there's this hose right here with the blue clip. That is where we're gonna spray it into. So how do you get that off? Is you put a flathead in between that blue clip and you just pull it off and it'll come off. You will get your intake valve cleaning, you gotta spray it in. You gotta wait for the car to warm up, that's what we're doing now, and you gotta spray it. Right, you have to get something that will come from here, and it will bend down and go into the hole. So that's why you get a straw. Yeah, I wanna turn the car around, because as you do that, you have to have the engine revved at 2000 RPM. You have to have someone in the car revving it the whole time, otherwise it will stall out. So it's gonna be kinda loud. I care about those neighbors. These neighbors, I don't really know them, I don't really care about them, so they can hear all the noise. Yeah. Well, I'll do it now. It's pretty complicated and you have to have a lot of things going at once. I don't really have time to hold the camera and hold the straw and spray it in and tell them what to do and all that. Just read the can, it's, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Don't do a me and end up dropping the straw and the little blue clip uh, under the engine because jack it up and take it off. Yeah. Oh well. Ah, uh, so once you've done that, you want to leave the car to sit for an hour with it off, and um, yeah. Start up my engine, man. Come on, dude. What a good sounding car, mate. You can see the smoke is a bit blue because it's burning off all the carbon and you know sort and all that not good stuff. Yeah. So now what you want to do is you're meant to take it for motorway speeds for 10 minutes. I'll probably just do longer than that. And maybe then after it drive it a bit harder, just so that it knows, you know. I don't, I don't know, you know, to blow out all the crap. So yeah, you can put some tunes on, you know, listen to some young boy or some shake whist or why have, I, why have I got what, what's the Fortnite McDonald's rap? Travis, Travis. Scott, yeah. Or Drake's new album? <laughs>
mysterious way to end the video because basically a lot of things have happened uh, since then I got the, the famous pandemic that everyone loves uh, that also gave me an eye infection but anyways about what we did to the old MPS um the one thing I noticed more than anything else was that the turbo now whines loud and now it's like a loud whining noise like it's, it's pretty damn cool the other thing i'd say is that i feel like when boost first starts coming in i feel like the first like 500 or 700 rpm feels a bit more talky a little bit um i, I think <laughs> oh might um yeah and, and it's good for real reliability <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Consider following my Instagram and my uh, YouTube and like and 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 bye. Mm. Oh.